Clean and affordable water availability is a right that every human should have. But for most Sierra Leoneans, access to water is usually contentious. Mothers and children regularly have to spend hours in long queues to fetch water. The problem intensifies during the dry season. What is compounding the problem more is the attitude of some people whom the Gumavali Water Company accuse of encroaching into and setting fire to water catchment areas. Oh, who has gone? Oh, yeah. yeah, look at the area, look at the catchment area, the region area. Yeah. That one has gone. Oh, good, it's no more. Mm -hmm. That is true. The Congo Dam, we are grappled with, um, how would I say, the community now because people are encroaching. The limited water supply from Guma frequently forces people to fetch water from other sources, and such water is usually not pure for drinking. If you look at our schools, I'll rightly say we have, on average, between 30 and 5 percent of schools that do not have any source of water. We normally conduct the annual school census that tells us some of these indicators. And even the sources of water they have, whether being in a pipe bone, being in a borehole, being it from the rain source, from river, or in the community, or whatever the, the, the case may be. Article 11 of the International Covenant on Economic, Social and Cultural Rights states that an adequate standard of living involves clean and affordable sources of water. The human rights Sierra Leone is tasked to ensure that. When we went to the field, we realized that, um, um, for instance, that um, resources are really inadequate to be able to provide this particular right. We realize that also um, communities uh, that are actually supposed to be the beneficiaries of this is, uh, of, of this particular right, they are even, even far removed, you know, from from whatever scarce facility or I mean facility that, um, for instance, Boma Valley is providing. We realize that um, even community members themselves, you know, are also part of the problem. As it stands, the remaining water catchment areas are not enough to supply the whole of Freetown. The Gumo Valley Water Company therefore predicts an even more dire water situation in the dry season if standard of water supply is not looked into. SLBC Julian Koma.